guys, I'm hoping the um, internet actually works today because I've tried to film this a couple of times but more if I keep going off. So I'm currently wearing the Make Sense Foundation in Ivory. It's been on since just after 11 I think and I think it still looks pretty amazing. I have quite bad acne and I also have quite oily skin so usually I have to blot my face and reapply for the day and I haven't done that. Um, I haven't left the house just because I don't think I'm great at applying it just yet. But, um, yeah, I thought I would show you my nighttime routine, so it's just after 12am um, here, so it's definitely ready for bed. And while I was wearing the Senegence makeup, I thought I would show you how I think of using my Senegence nighttime routine as well. So this is Foops. Oh, I probably should have shown you before, but it's split into two layers, so you just have to really quickly shake it up to mix the two layers together. Um, because our makeup products are waterproof, um, kiss proof and blood proof, you do have to take it off with an oil based remover um, and fix it's just a great colour remover for all our makeup products. Um, cosmetic products, now I do this in two ways, usually I use a cotton pad and wipe it over my face, um, but I've seen a lot of people put it on their hands and put it on that way. Um, I'm going to try the hand way today, so just a few drops, one, two. I love that this product comes out so slowly so you don't waste loads of product. I'm just going to rub it through my hands and then rub it on your face. Being my goose, that's so let's hope this lasts. So I think I'm going to need a couple more drops, so one, two. So that's now four drops total. And I don't know if you can see, but I do have some in my hand, so it's already working. Just going to wash them quickly. Okay, so as you can see, I always put my hair up when I'm doing a nighttime routine. Um, and I also sleep with my hair like this, so it does two things. It keeps it out of the way, as well as um, makes it so it doesn't get luggy while I sleep. I'm also going to apply some Oops Remover. Most people do, to be fair, use the Oops Remover for their lips as well. But as I've still got Oops Remover, uh, I'm going to use it on my lips. Oh, what colour was I wearing today? I think I was wearing. Was I wearing this one? Yes, I was wearing Honey Rose today. So that's been on even before my makeup because I did my lips first. Because I wasn't planning to do makeup today, but then I had a friend. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> so I wasn't originally planning on doing makeup today, so I just did my uh, lip sense because I wear that every day. I just don't feel ready without it. Um, but my friend ended up, ended up coming over, so I did my whole makeup afterwards. Um, I'm just going to put some warm water on this cloth, and then I'm going to take off my makeup. <laughs> If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them and I'll try and either get back to you or answer them. You can message me or comment and let me know. So I use this makeup eraser flannel just because it's super, super soft and I love how soft it is. Especially when my skin's really sensitive. It doesn't like hurt my skin. And you just rub it in circular motions. Don't forget for the lip scents, just rub them together briefly um, to break down the colour and then wipe it off. And so that's all my makeup and all my lip scents. That little black stain is from my uh, Blackberry. <laughs> oh, hi, Hannah. Okay, so all my makeup is up. I'm now going to use the cleanser. So, our three in one cleanser. I am currently using the um, normal to oily. I did use the oily to acne. Oops, I'm just dropping everything, which I absolutely love. And as you can see, <laughs> there is literally nothing left. It's completely empty. Um, I just want to do a video with it, so I'm holding on to it. But um, I'm now using the normal to oily. I've definitely noticed the reduction in my oily, my skin's oiliness. 
and it's three in one so it has a cleanser, a tone and an exfoliation in it and you need a tiny tiny amount so I'm just going to wet my face. And then just put a tiny bit onto my fingers so you really do need a tiny amount. And then I just rub that all over my skin. So this has got little tiny bits of um, volcanic ash in it and that makes up the exfoliation beads which is the little black dots if you can see them. And I just, I mean to be fair I'm quite aggressive <laughs> but I just rub it in circular motion all over my face and it also helps to get any leftover makeup off. Um, I know a lot of people take it off with just water, but I actually prefer, because it has got the exfoliation beads in it, I prefer to take it off with my flannel, the same one that I used to take off my makeup and use on the boots remover. Okay. So I literally just wet this and then wipe over my face again. And always, always, always wash your face at the last minute in ice cold water because the ice cold water um, closes all your pores, which is great. Um, so we have four different cleansers. We have the normal, the normal to dry, the dry, and the oily tapping as well. So all of them are 30 pounds and they tend to last at least four months going on because you really do only need a tiny amount and like I already said I hate to have hair on my face when I get ready for bed so I redo it <laughs> um, okay so I can't wait until we get spot on in the UK it's currently only available in um, the US and Australia as far as I'm aware. We should be getting in the UK soon but I'm not sure when but at the moment I just use a prescription medication um, for my acne spots. So it's very similar to spot on to be fair but you just put it on your actual spots using the applicator itself rather than your finger and both have active ingredients in it which help with acne. Okay. So I personally like to let that dry for a little bit before I continue with my next step. But my next three steps involve climate control, which I've done a YouTube video all about if you want to read that. And this is basically hydration in its purest form. So that goes on first, it's got the smallest molecules that penetrates deep into your lower level, levels of skin because it can go between all the layers. And then I seal that in with Senoserum C which is um, basically, I don't know if you can see the beads, but it's little beads of vitamin C, so it's actually active vitamin C, which um, is really good for your skin and it also helps with um, anti-aging. So that's really useful to have, but you do have to make sure you crush the beads in order for the active ingredients to get to your skin. So I just sprayed three little, I don't want it to fall off, three sprays of climate control. Some people put it directly onto their face, but I personally like having it on my hands first. And then I just rub that everywhere. And I'm hoping my phone's not gonna die because it's on 5% at the moment. <laughs> and then finally, Senesera C. And again, just one full pump. That's literally all you need. In fact, it's usually too much. It's just it's the easiest way to control it. And it comes out like this. 
and you just want to make sure you crush all those beads first. You can also crush them when you're on, they're on your face to be fair so you don't have to do in your hand but I like to do it in my hand. And then as you can see there's still um, the case is there. And then you just rub that into your skin which helps to seal in the climate control. Because the molecules are so small, um, they do easily evaporate from the surface which is why you need to seal them in to prevent them from evaporating. And any excess, remember, just bring it down and choose the chin. And then if I have dry skin, um, or any patches of dry skin, I use Nanga oil. Um, it comes in a droplet form, so you just put a few droplets either on your hands and then um, press it under the dry patches or directly onto your skin. But that is my nighttime routine. I also brush my teeth um, before coming on. So thank you so much for watching. Um, my skin's terrible, so I won't stay on for too long. Um, but I will try to answer any questions you send me. And I know it's really late, so probably no one's available. But um, yeah, if you watch this during the replay, be sure to message me any questions. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye. Have we ended?